Good morning. This is January 10th, uh, 2021. And uh, let's all hope for a better 2021 than 2020, right? <clears throat> Listen, um, my video today is a, a stern warning to all uh, people who have a defective car and they get a notice in the mail about a class action involving their car. Now, as probably most of you know, <clears throat> Um, there's just tons of class actions going on against the auto manufacturers right now. Some of them I think are legitimate, a lot of them are not. But the problem with uh, class action settlement is that if you are part of the class action settlement and you have a car with a serious defect, you are limited uh, in your entire remedy for that car to what you get in the class action settlement. And it may only be like a, a free oil change or a check for a couple hundred dollars I mean, it may not be anywhere even close to a full Lemon Law buyback remedy. Um, under the Lemon Law, under an individual action, you are entitled, uh, if you win, obviously, but you are entitled to a buyback of your car. Under California law, you're also entitled to certain penalties, which can you know, make it very lucrative. And um, the law provides that the, the uh, manufacturer uh, has to pay for your attorney's fees. So it, it's a good deal for you all the way around in an individual action. In a class action, you know, these cases drag on for years and years. Everyone gets tired of them. The judges get tired of them. The lawyers run out of money. And then they settle uh, for <clears throat> really uh, settlements, which are often ripoffs of the consumer. Consumers with cars with serious defects get a check for $250 or something like that. The attorneys, the class action attorneys often get millions. And uh, the uh the, the consumers are left with cars with serious defects and they don't have a lemon law remedy anymore because they were part of the class action. When you get a class action notice in the mail on your car, okay, here's what you need to do. If the defect is not serious, if the defect is not serious and you don't really care about it, stay in the class action, get a check, put it in the bank account, do with it whatever you want. Uh, there's no problem with that uh, at all. On the other hand, if you get a class action notice for a defect, which is a more serious defect, and particularly if you are suffering from that defect, you know, something like engine or transmission failure, something along those lines, uh, you need to opt out of the class action. The, the class action notice, the first class action notice you get, and the second one will give you directions of how to opt out, and you need to opt out, because by opting out, you are preserving your right to bring an individual Lemon Law action, and you need to do it if you want to bring an individual lemon law action. So anyway, this is just uh, my, little, uh, my little piece of advice for the day. Uh, if you get one of those class action notices and it's a defect you don't care about, keep the money. If it's a defect you do care about, and particularly if your car is suffering from the defect and the manufacturer is not fixing it after repair attempts, then you need to opt out of the class action. And you do that, uh, the, the, the notices that you get in the mail will have directions on how to do that. Anyway, I hope that this uh, little video has been helpful.